Shalom, welcome everybody back to Taurus Chef. Uh, I have a new recipe, it'll be a quick one. It's fun. Um, we've got this wonderful superfood matcha, matcha, however you want to say it. It is from young green tea leaves that are pulverized and ground into a powder. It's part of a Japanese ceremonial drink. Um, so it's basically green tea, but it is far, far, far superior as far as antioxidant power. Great for liver uh, support, great for your metabolism, uh, a myriad of other, thing, uh, of other things that can help you. Um, it's a superfood. So I thought, what can we do with it other than you know your typical drinks at the coffee restaurant? Um, I ran across a few recipes online, matcha brownies. I'm gonna call them greenies because that's what they are. Um, so I developed something a little different, a little tastier, a little better. Uh, decided to do something, infuse some healthiness into your uh, dessert treat. So here we go, we're gonna make some matcha brownies. So come on in and let's do it. All right, here are the ingredients for the matcha brownies. Um, we have the matcha powder. This is a culinary grade. Um, it's somewhat a little less expensive than the uh, ceremonial grade, uh, but it works great for recipes and culinary use. It still has all the health benefits of matcha. Uh, this is a combination. It's a quarter teaspoon of almond extract and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. We have some sliced almonds. Those are optional. We have white chocolate chips. Those are not optional. We're going to melt half of them and put them into the brownies and the other we're going to fold in at the end. Two eggs. I like to bring them up to room temp. Uh, some butter. Uh, we're going to melt some of this butter with some of those chocolate chips as the base. I'm using gluten-free all-purpose baking flour. You can use regular all-purpose flour. That's fine. Uh, but I figured we'd try to keep this a little bit healthier. We have uh, a half cup of packed brown, light brown sugar, uh, a half teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of salt, and I'm using Himalayan pink salt. So let's go ahead and we will get the uh, white chocolate melted. Okay, we're gonna start by actually melting this butter in the double boiler. And at this point, um, and in about half of the uh, half the chocolate chips, I'm going to reserve the rest for mixing into the brownies. So we will uh, go ahead and cut this and speed this up, so you don't have to watch me melt butter and chocolate chips. Okay, so we have the melted uh, chocolate and butter. Uh, alternatively, you can do this in the microwave, um, just about 20 seconds a time at a time, and stir it. White chocolate does tend to uh, break easy easier than the dark chocolate, so you want to be conscious of that. We're going to start whipping this. We're going to add the two eggs, one at a time. We're going to add the extracts, the brown sugar. Get that combined very well. Okay, this is when we get to add the, uh, the matcha and the flour, as well as the, uh, the leavening agents, the baking powder, soda, salt. Some people like to combine that ahead of time with the flour, but this will work just fine. We'll get this mixed slowly. Uh, if you're using an all-purpose flour, you don't want to overmix this. You just want to mix this until combined. Uh, because I'm using a gluten-free flour, we don't have the gluten that's going to create that problem. So we don't have to worry about it as much. So just make sure you're scraping down the bowl. Make sure all ingredients are incorporated well. I'm going to make sure that uh, we got a nice smooth brownie batter. Got that beautiful green color. Almost looks like uh, something from the swamp. We're gonna add the almonds and white chocolate chips. Just mix them until they're combined. So there we go. You see how quick and simple that was. It's all about having your ingredients ready and in place. Now I have a parchment lined baking pan. Um, you could double this recipe and use a half baking sheet. Um, for this, I'm just gonna use uh, this smaller recipe that uh, I think everyone at home is gonna prefer. 
You could alternatively, if you don't have the parchment to line the pan with, you can simply uh, just oil and flour the pan and you should get, uh, should come right out for you. So we're gonna bake this at 350 for a few minutes. Let's make sure we get everything out of there. Give this a little, a little tap. Make sure everything's smooth and even, as smooth and even as you can get it. Remember, these are brownies, so they don't have to look perfect on top. They're gonna crackle and, and rise a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and get this in the oven and uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so you saw we've cut it. We pulled it out of the oven 20 minutes at uh, 350 degrees. You might need 22, 23 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna call this a greenie instead of a brownie um, just because it's, it's this beautiful green color on the inside. Um, pretty impressed with how this turns out. Uh, I've scoured uh, the internet for, for some recipes using matcha and I found something we adjusted it because it just didn't taste good. Um, so I hope you infuse this superfood into your life uh, it will give you, you know, it, it'll give you a lot of great nutrition and it's a good treat. So let's just give this a little taste and see how it turned out. This is actually my test run of this, so we'll give it a shot. Wow, it was different. Really still has that gooeyness of a brownie, white chocolate flavor. The almond extract is key. The almonds. Definitely needs a little shofar blast. Awesome, thanks you guys for tuning in. We'll see you at the next one.